short, short memory in this game, you know? Okay. Short memory. Like, not sit there so long because like, you knew what you needed to do. Now, like, I knew what happened was wrong, but I didn't didn't do. And you have a quick yeah, man, short good. short memory in this game, you know? Fuck yeah. Short memory. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And if you stay stuck on that shit, it's like fuck man, eat your way, eat your way. Hell That's yeah, why it's it like you're healthy. Get you know you had the, almost two years out. That shit right there, that in itself is a mental to be away that long. Uh, you need help, ligma? Gizma. Gizma. Ligma. Ligma. I'll make you gizma. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. He never wraps up. He's only raw. <laughs> One time there's a camera for me. You fuckers bring cameras all the time. Every, every day. Every, every day, day I Cody, camera. Cody, Cody has Rez, a camera guy every he, day. He's super humble. You know what I mean? So we got to give him a shit. But you know, I'm happy for him. Got the main event. Like three weeks. So. But I can't let it, he's already got too big of a head. Can't let it get to him more. So we got to humble him. I was just born with a big head. That was yeah, it. Yeah, dude. See my kid, he has a fucking even bigger head. That one, bro. He sees, like, he'll give Cody a little, he look, 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 goes like this, this, yeah. this. And, and fuck, he sees eyes. Jordan, he's like, oh, boobs. He's like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like this fucking ball. kid. Yeah. yeah, I was like, dude. Dude's right I mean, there. Hey, I'm happy, I'm proud. Oh, I was yeah. like, bro, what the That's the best. Like, don't embarrass me. No, you're good, I just, I couldn't remember. It's been like four fights since the last time I've been with you. Mm. And then also too on uh, fight night lattes yeah. and those waffles we eat like fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Back okay. Yep, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right. Hopefully we'll wake up, you know, two more pounds lighter. Yeah. yeah a little uh, hot tub time and yeah. go from there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Today's all now. Yeah, let's work some fight simulations, some pads, wrestling position. Almost. Be sharp. Be sharp. Almost time. In that position on the fence, if he's facing the fence, just stay heavy on there. You know, crank on that rib cage, knees to the legs, you know. It doesn't always have to be like a lift and turn. You don't have to waste that energy in there. Just control you're controlling the fight from there. Right? Knees, kicks, fucking make it hard on them. But torque that like a gut wrench. And you're doing the right thing. Whenever you want to, you lasso that down to the shot, finish that shot. Good shit, dude. You're fast. Everything's fast, sharp. Powerful, too. Yeah. My speed, dude. Speed with power, bro. You got his ass. Do the same thing you've been doing for years. Yeah? Let motherfuckers know why you're the baddest motherfucker. 
They ain't sleeping on you. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, let them. Go ahead, let them lead. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead and let them, dude. All right, hard work. Yeah. Healthy. Hungry, you know? Yeah. Huge opportunity, bro. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to go in there and get the job done, you know? Back to the top where I belong. Yeah, exactly. That's why you don't call people up for no reason. You go out there because you... Yeah. You want something to excite you, you know, like yeah. something to motivate you to get to the gym. Like those are the things that excite you. People tell you, oh, you shouldn't do it, but that's what motivates you to come oh, here. Yeah. You know, so you need shit to motivate you. Yeah. Why I'm here? Yeah, I understand. But Dude, I need, challenges makes exciting because people don't doubt that. So then that's why you like I take these opportunities and challenges because that's what gets us to get here every day. Wakes us up every day because no one thinks you can win, you know. I'm, I'm not saying that you can't. I'm yeah. just saying like. No, I'm already motivated, but yeah. Why well, ask for this fight? Yeah. You don't. Be damn sure that I fucking come prepared. Yeah, correct. To take this win. Yeah, I agree. I just ask it like how oh, I want it. You know, if it happens, I was here. Yeah, I work for it. It flies it. You know, I've been doing forever. You know, I agree. These fights get me up more. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's what excites you exactly. Yeah, that's, that's what it makes. Not you the other fights up. in. They're more, more of a risk in this fight. Yeah. I lose those guys. Fucking hits us back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not saying I lose this guy, but there's more to gain. Yeah. That's what puts me up. Gets me excited. I agree. You know, to do the extra. Not that I need more drive to do it. It just, you know, made a camp. You're like, oh man, I'm feeling this. Like, maybe I'll take this run off. No, you do the extra. Yeah. I've done everything, bro. I missed a session. I won all camp, last camp. Healthy, motivated, hungry. Fuck, I've been here. I've been at the top, man. I know what it takes to get there. You know, I know what it's like to be at the top. I didn't get into this sport to be runner up, man, be the best. So. Yeah. These are the fights that, you know, get you there, keep you there. This is my legacy, bro. This is my 15th fight in the UFC. Yeah. 20th professional fight, you know? I grew up in this octagon. Yeah, I agree. You know? I know. I see, you, I see you come a long way, you know? From you coming to, a, to the gym with 1 0 fighter, you know? 175 pounds. Passing some crazy motherfucking yeah. fights for this dude. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. I hit some of my hardest one. Sandoval, Lance, Alan, the guys that are still here. You might have different journeys, different paths. But look at us, we're all here. We're on fight week. Ready to go. Each other, you know? Be happy for each other and be motivated for you, you know? That's Even though I don't see you and I haven't seen you in a long time, I'm still, you know, we still That's got each other's back and yeah, exactly. So. Can he do it? Yes. Does he have the ability to do it? Yes. Does he have the mindset? He has all, he's been there before, right? He's shown that before. Can he continue to evolve with the game and how the game's changing, right? It's ever changing, ever evolving, right? So that's on me as, 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 as a coach, that's on, uh, the rest of the, 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 the coaches that are, that are working with him, Alex and Mateus and, and those people to make sure that as coaches, we're, we're ahead of the game as well, right? And we're, we're helping him progress along with, with the game itself. So yes, I do believe he can be champion again. The future for Cody Garbrandt, uh, we're going to the belt for sure. Like after Fig, we're going to win this fight and for sure go Cody come back to the top and title shot for sure is coming. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Got this new haircut, I'm gonna be feeling all brand new with. Ugh. Shagging today. At the press conference on Thursday. A little outfit from Dior. I was gonna do a suit, probably should have, since it's UFC 300, but I'm like, yeah. I've done the suit so many times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a Dior fit? Yeah, it's got a little, little outfit from there. I might, I might do the, uh, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rainbow Daytona. Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, so. I mean, for me, I, I believe in, I, I have speed, I have power in my hands, boxing, I, I can do it all, you know, I'm a martial artist, but uh, for me, I like the, the stand and trade, you know, I think that's where the real fight's at, you know, training and trading, but it's martial arts, so you got to get the win at the end of the day and be able to adjust on the fly, you know, no fight's ever going to be like a perfectly tailored script for you to go on there, oh, hey, I'm gonna do this and this, you know, because it's another guy that's, that you're trying to control and try to manipulate to, you know, throw off so you can land your combinations and, and do your game plan on them. So uh, for me, I kind of like, I have a game plan, you know, in my mind for the fight, but I usually go off of, you know, reaction and, and kind of just on the fly. I 
feel like you know, I just go in there and I just kind of freestyle, you know, freestyle what will go on. You know, like, like Mike Tyson said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. You know, sometimes plans are good to have, to stay with, but sometimes plans, people st get stuck to the plans that's not working and they kind of melt down. Like, oh, the plan's not working. And they're not ready to adapt and switch the gear to where, like plan B, plan C. So, you know, I got different plans in there. If, say things weren't, weren't to go, if I want to keep it standing, you know, I'm having a hard time with the range and I'm having time with my feeding and his movement. Okay, then I'll try to get in, you know, clench him up, get him to the ground, you know, uh, use the wrestling, you know, try to tire him out, use the feints. Like, there's all kind of different, like, you know, attacks you can do offensively, defensively, um, to oppose your will on your adversaries inside the octagon. That's why I love mixed martial arts. So it's not just boxing, it's not just kickboxing, it's everything put together, you know, it's, it's all, you're the ultimate warrior, you know, it truly is, you know, the ultimate, we're gladiators in there, and, um, you know, showcasing the full martial artist, it's, you know, so many disciplinaries that are in there, karate, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and the power of will, the power of will and grit and determination to, you know, keep pushing forward when you're tired and you're beat up and, you still got two, three more rounds of fight left, you know, of, of the fight. And uh, momentum, momentum in the fight. You know, it's like anything, football, any, any professional or anything, it's all about momentum. You know, ride the momentum, you know. I come in one time, he's, he cut my, getting about to line my beard up with a straight razor, and this thing's like, Oh, I'm like, bro, I'm like, terrific. you're good. He's like, dude, he's like, you see that? I'm like, hell yeah, I see that. <laughs> he's like, man, I just drank a coffee. He goes, I'm, I'm driven. So RD <laughs> had to jump in and finish, finish the job. <laughs> That's why I'm drinking coffee. He tagged me in, <laughs> he tagged me in bro, until he felt yeah. better. Yeah. 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 He turned up, he turned up, he turned oh, up. Man. I'm chopped up. He's like, yeah, he's rocking. Man, look at that ball, too. Yeah, I told him, I was like, what, I, I what were you doing when you were designing this? That's, that's, that's my guy, that's my guy. Adios. Cody as a person is, he'd do anything for you, he'd give you the shirt off his back. Um, if he's somebody that you're in his his tight group, you're family, you know, and so being close with Cody is, he if he doesn't have it, he'll get it for you. He's that type of person, you know, he's, uh, he's, you know, grateful for everything he has. He's grateful for what he's been able to get for himself growing up in Ohio and, you know, not growing up in, you know, a great place obviously it's one of those things where you bring yourself up out of that with your work ethic and determination and that's something that he's done so that's something that you know it's always good to remember where you came from and and kind of be grateful for where you're at even if you're striving to do more you know losing the belt was so many different emotions uh, you know combined into one but an odd one that I, I felt deeply about was relief. I had relief with it. You know, I was undefeated at 25 years old, dethroned one of the best bantamweight champions ever in Dominic Cruz. Um, had a long, long road to defend my title. Injuries, almost a whole year um, to fight an old teammate of mine. Um, to almost finish him in the first round in MSG, a sold out arena, uh, to get finished in the second round. It was a weird, a weird feeling, but for me, I think that the feeling of relief was knowing that I was going to get it back, realizing I was able to obtain it before. It's just going to be a different path back to the title, and it has been. It's been a lot of adversity, up and down, setbacks, injuries. I mean, just so much life thrown at me, and here I am, ten toes down, still grinding, still here, getting ready for the biggest win of my career. I'm the biggest fight card ever, UFC 300. So uh, I've very much prepared physically, mentally, emotionally, and uh, just excited for this opportunity. Keith.
Fuck a pigeonhole, I'm a night owl, this a different mode I'ma have to make a paint of six on a pinky toe Heard you with a shooting guard, just let a nigga know I would have your court side, not the middle row All good love in a minute though I can't stress about no bitch cause I'm a timid soul Plus I'm cooking up ambition on the kitchen stove Pot start to bubble, see the sun